I've all ready to print this circuit board design on some glossy paper. There we go. There's our design. Very small. This circuit board's only going to be 9mm times 9mm. So it's going to be the smallest board I've ever made. Right, let's press print. There we go. Well, next we're going to iron on our toner print onto the back of this tiny fiberglass board. What we're going to do is pre the board with an iron. About a minute. Leave it on there for two and a half minutes. Mark's been on there for about two and a half minutes, three minutes. That's right there. There we go, the toner print now will be well stuck to that circuit board. What we'll do now is just pop it in some water. Leave it in there for about five minutes and we can peel the back off. That's been in the water now about ten minutes. There we go. It's our circuit board design now, attached to the board. What we'll do now, we'll cut it. Cut that with my cutter. Right. Well, let's cut the board now. This is a very, very small board. You can't see it yet at the moment. What I need to do now is just drill the two holes for the variable capacitor and the coil. That's a one millimetre drill bit. That's all ready now for it to um, dip in its urgent solution. So what I'm going to do now is just throw this in. Now 
leave it in there for about 10 minutes and hopefully when it comes out we'll have our completed board Mark has been in now about 15 minutes let's go and have a look at the board very good can you see that? Very small in it. Okay. What we'll do now is clean it and tin the board. Well, this is a tiny circuit board all complete. As you can see, that's extremely small. Let's try and zoom in. The size of that, eh? That's 9mm by 9mm. As you can see, this is a UK pen, eh? You could possibly put three of these, or two of these, on a penny piece. So the board's all done now. Next we'll build this very very tiny transmitter. Not bad. Well this is the parts, we're going to make this very very small transmitter Here's our board we fabricated earlier Next to that is a, um, a surface mount variable capacitator I think they're 5mm There's our coil There's our Tony mic Got these off eBay a couple of years ago, they're only 3mm in size They are tiny Here's our one transistor And here's our 805 parts. I'm going to have a smaller part there on the end. And to get an idea of the size of these parts, here's a penny piece. They are tiny, aren't they? Well, we should build it. Right, our first part we're going to install is the 33 PF ceramic capacitator. That's it. Did you see that? That's that one. The next part we're going to install is the 5k resistor for the mic. Now, I can see here there's hardly any room to get this in. So it's just going to be sticking out the board slightly.
my next I'm going to attempt so attempt because this is going to be so awkward to get this transistor in and there's not a lot of room at all so your, your view might be obstructed slightly Side on. Oh god, this is tiny. Let me see that. Yep. Try and zoom in a bit. No. Alright, we've got collector soldered in. There we go, all in. Hang on. Let's put the transistor in. The one resistor and select for AP cap. Look how close they are. Extremely close. Alright, the next part is the 10p cap across the emitter and collector. I say that. That's all right. Let me see. Well, the next part is this um, one end ceramic cap. We're getting a bit tight now, not a lot of room. So one side. Can we still see? Apologise if I get in the light a bit. That's not it. Well, our next part is the 100, uh, 100 ohm resistor. I think I'm just going to get this in. I think I might have made this board slightly too smart. Oh, well, that's in. The next part is this 4P7 ceramic capacitator. This goes to the output to the antenna. Uh, this is a 0605 part, so it is minute. I don't know if you can see that there. That's very simple.
Sí. Correct. Well, our next part is the 22N capacitator that goes across the battery. So one side. Can I say that just? That's a variable cap. I've had to solder two legs on it because it's going through the PCB. I've just pushed through the variable capacitor. I've just got to um, lightly solder that on. So one side. And this next side is going to be very hard to do. Very good. Sticks out slightly, but you can't have that. Well, the next part is this five turn coil. I've just popped it through the board. So you zoom in slightly. Solder in quickly. Can we see that? Yep, solder in around it. I'm done. Coil in. Now the next part is this tiny three millimeter mic. Well, soldering this tiny mic. So I'm sliding. There we go. Mic in. There we go, it's um, almost done now. Apart from the antenna and the battery supply. Look at the size of that. It's tiny. There's a UK one penny. And it is tidy. Let's have a look at the other side. And look how close the parts are. They're virtually all touching. It'll be fun to see if this gets going. 
Yeah, but I've done a couple of these. Very, very small. Well, let's put the rest of it together. Well, the next thing I'm going to install is the um, antenna. Well, the next thing now is the um, two battery connectors. I'm not sure what I'm going to power this up with yet. I mean, this is so small it could fit in a pen. Um, let's get these in then. So what? Well, I've decided to mount this tiny transmitter on a CR2032 battery holder. Quite small holders. So I've tested on this guy now. You can, like I say, you can put this anywhere, it's that small. You can mount it on virtually anything, wouldn't you? There we go. Oh my god, it even looks tiny on that. Well, next we're going to test it. I've got it small on that. Does it work? All complete. Well, here it is outside. Here's our tiny transmitter. How small that is, a three millimeter mic. Well, here's our frequency counter. You might have seen on previous videos. Let's pop that on, shall we? Seems to get pretty close because it's very low powered. And there we go. What about? 103 yep. 103 MHz or very near that bang on that thing's working let's pop upstairs tune in There we go. Full signal. How about that? That's not bad, is it? Tiny little transmitter. A nine, uh, nine times nine millimeter circuit board. And it's quite stable, amazingly. You can pick it up in your hand and it doesn't drift frequency. Very happy with that.